सो लेट्स कंटिन्यू विथ आर एथ सम ऑफ क्वेश्चन नंबर वन नाइन डिवाइडेड बाय माइनस फिफ्टी फोर सो नाइन इन न्यूमरेटर माइनस फिफ्टी फोर डिनोमिनेटर वी नो दैट नाइन एंड फिफ्टी फोर आर डिविजिबल बाय नाइन नाइन वन जा नाइन सिक्स जा सो वन अपॉन सिक्स पॉजिटिव नेगेटिव आंसर इज नेगेटिव नेक्स्ट सेवेंटी एट डिवाइड बाय सिक्सटी फाइव सेवेंटी एट अपॉन सिक्सटी फाइव बोथ नंबर्स आर डिविजिबल बाय थर्टीन सो थर्टीन सिक्स थर्टीन फाइव सिक्स अपॉन फाइव नेक्स्ट माइनस फाइव डिवाइडेड बाय माइनस थ्री हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी नाउ वी कैन सी यूनिट्स प्लेस फाइव फाइव सो इट इज ऑब्वियस दैट बोथ नंबर्स आर गोइंग टू बी डिविजिबल बाय फाइव सिंस दिस नंबर इज बिगर नंबर सो वी विल कैरी आउट रफ वर्क योर फाइव सिक्स थर्टी फाइव थ्री जा फिफ्टी सो वी गॉट सिक्सटी थ्री फाइव वन जा फाइव फाइव सिक्सटी थ्री जा सो वन अपॉन सिक्सटी थ्री नेगेटिव नेगेटिव आंसर इज पॉजिटिव सो नो नीड टू पोर्ट पॉजिटिव साइन इफ यू राइट ऑल देन ऑल सेट इज करेक्ट Question number two: Write three divisions of integers such that the fractional form of each will be twenty-four upon five. Now, question is very big. Write three divisions of integers such that the fractional form. Now, keep in mind this word: fractional form of each will be twenty-four upon five. Means whatever number we are selecting. Once we divide that those number, answer should be twenty four upon five. Understood? So now I am taking twenty four upon five. How many we want? Three. So I am writing twenty four upon five three times. Now, if we multiply twenty four upon five with same number, suppose I am multiplying by two. Two in numerator, two in denominator. So what I will be getting? Twenty-four twos are forty-eight. Five twos are ten. This is our first integer. So when we divide forty-eight upon ten, our answer will be twenty-five upon four. Understood? Next. Now instead of two, if I am taking ten, ten in numerator, ten in denominator. Twenty-four tens are two forty. Five tens are fifty, so this is very easy. Now, when we divide two forty divided by fifty, our answer will be twenty four upon five. So now you understood what's the question that we have to write three division integers wherein when we divide all those three integers, our answer should be twenty four upon five. So basically, we have to frame question for this answer. Now, how we will frame a question just by multiplying? Simple, because when we divide, what we do, we reduce it, right? Last one, you can take any number, but keep in mind, whatever you are multiplying in numerator, same number has to has to be same number has to be divided in the denominator. So I am taking here three. Twenty-four threes are three fours are twelve. Seventy-two five threes are fifty. Seventy-two upon fifty. Our next question is also same. Write three division. Write three divisions of integers such that the fractional form of each will be minus five upon seven. Same like previous one. Answer should be minus five upon seven. So minus five upon seven. I am writing three times.
here I am multiplying again with two numerator denominator both here I am multiplying with three let's take minus three five threes are fifteen negative negative positive seven threes are twenty one positive negative negative so we won't be putting negative here we are writing here after three i am taking four five fours are twenty seven fours are twenty eight negative positive negative now for last question question number four let me show you textbook now question number four see this is question number four the fish in the pond below carry some numbers you all can see picture below there's a fish tank and fishes in it and there are different numbers written on those fishes choose any four pairs and carry out four multiplication with those number now choose four other pairs and carry out division with these number now what we have to do here basically is among these fishes we have to select two two number two two numbers like for example your first one minus 15 multiplied by uh, sorry minus 13 multiplied by minus 15 gives positive 1 95 so these two numbers have been selected from these fishes see here my plus 13 you all can see where is my yeah minus 13 your first gray fish and down below minus 15 likewise and same manner we have to carry out division also minus 24 divided by 9 which gives us minus 8 by 3 now this is one one example one of multiplication and one of division so in this manner we have to do four multiplications and four division so i'm giving you one one example you kids have to make your own sums let's move ahead see this this is first example of multiplication and first example of division which is given already in textbook i gave one more example these numbers are taken from number of fishes written on them see now we do not we do not have to repeat numbers whatever number we are taking for multiplication or the pairs for example if we are taking negative 13 negative 15 same number we won't be taking for division yeah we can interchange negative 15 and positive 9 we can interchange but not the same pair for division okay so i did second example positive 9 multiply by negative 8 which gives negative 20 72 and one example of division negative 18 divided by positive 9 which gives negative 2 see here also pairs are different now these are two multiplications and two divisions so you have to frame now on your own more two two sums of each Thank you.